you get before I do, I'm a little bit peeved because uh, Hythalidae made this comment as, as Jim Peek and other people are like, well, you're evading the question. And Hythalidae, that's what he does, and blah, 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 blah. Look, okay, no offense, Joe. Hythalidae, that's bullshit. I've answered dozens of his questions in detail. And he doesn't like the answer. He wants to say, that's no answer. Oh, yeah, big surprise. We don't have the same take. I knew that coming in, and we're trying to explain how each of us views things, right? And I'm actually interested, or was, I still am to a certain degree, in what he has to say on the subject. He has overtly, this isn't me interpreting it, he has overtly, literally, with his actual words, refused to submit to any questioning from me. He thinks I am the statement maker and he is the questioner, but I'm a fucking skeptic. All of my statements are fucking questions. Okay. Now, when I make a video answering your points, that is answering. You say, well, the answer was evasive. Then say that. Don't say, it didn't answer. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's the height of the day. Now, Joe, I've been answering you. Uh, it's not evasive that you don't like the way I... Don't take a tangent. The tangents are just into how I analyze it. Hey, what if I analyze things differently from you? That might be possible since I have totally unconventional philosophy. Maybe you'd expect that. Okay, that's just a vent. The part of the frustration that was in this conversation, but mostly Joe is making good challenges and he's bringing up things like Coherentism he'd like us to consider, so he should say what he thinks about that is the part we should consider. I'm not going to do it, right? So I'm going to go through this closely and play his video since he's saying oh, I'm a basic. I would like to point you back to your own video entitled First and Third Person Views of Self. Uncharacteristic. It, the one where I give all these details right and I'm very specific. ...of your usual pres presentation style. You clearly delineate your terms in that. Okay, now, first of all, that's bullshit. Uh, is it uncharacteristic for the sun to come up in the morning? Because most of the time, it's either not up or it's in the sky, not doing sunrise. So is that uncharacteristic? I regularly make those kind of videos. And furthermore, the, the casual kind of videos that I make, because I don't have time to make PowerPoints, all the time as often as I'd like to make videos those are at least consistent with the definitions I give right and you're gonna call me evasive is not gonna work for me okay and uh, you're gonna expect it's uncharacteristic of you oh I see so you want to put in this idea that I'm confusing and that's on me and you're gonna even reply to a video that wasn't confusing to you. Well, guess what? A lot of people found that video confusing. You know why? Because I look at things differently. It's a very unconventional philosophy. Everybody's out there trying to seek uh, analytic truths to start from. I don't. I seek synthetic truths. I seek embodied mind origins to the way we think. And people don't look at it that way. Okay? We can share our opinions with each other and learn from it. Video. You claim that the basic building blocks for all knowledge are percepts. Yes, yeah, so he says, I, I claim the basics are percepts. That's much better because we started off him saying, I said it was sense data, which is a whole school of theory uh, that views data as a particular kind of thing. And I'm just talking about information in the most raw sense as we get it. Percepts works for me, but then again, if you're going to quote some interpretation of what a percept is, then we're going to have problems since I don't believe in things. And a percept would be a description of a particular phenomena, behaviors of systems. Okay, the percept being the behavior of our cognitive system, its ability to collect information. And that is what I think you're getting to is how you need another system to collect information. That system is not an analytic set of concepts, however. It is a physical body. By definition, any truth associated with that characteristic body is going to be synthetic. I have now made two videos highlighting what I see to be an insurmountable difficulty with this hierarchical theory of knowledge. Okay, I object to you calling it hierarchical. 
because there's other kinds of networks. You can have foundationalism without absolutely a hierarchy because it might not go up to just one abstraction, right? It might split off. The hierarchy idea is that you're always condensing and you always are going to universalize and you just get one cone of knowledge. I don't believe that. I don't think there is an analytic truth that can draw down like that. What you do when you analyze data is you get conflicting analytic abstractions, conflicting ones, and multiple. So it's not hierarchical. That's not a hierarchical structure, but it is a layered structure still. There's a data reduction layering, raw data, less raw, more and more reduced data. I want you to explain in clear terms how it is that the basic building blocks, such as I see a violet patch in my visual field. How is that a basic thing? The seeing of it is basic. Saying the statement you just made is not basic, however. The statement you made requires concepts that we learn through observation. No, would you please answer that clearly in clear terms? Do we learn language through observing or not? How can such building blocks be basic when they clearly require a variety of concepts? It d seeing purple does not require anything but a working visual system. Okay, if you want to say it requires a concept of purple, n no, it requires a system that can absorb and react to purple. And I think that the what we call the concept of purple is a data reduction pro product. Okay, that's what I think is that our concept of purple is a data reduction product from all the purple we see with our eyes. So the structure necessary to see purple is not a conceptual system, it's an eye. And all the characteristics of the eye are by definition synthetic truths. There is no analytic truth. So I'm not begging any analytic truth. I'm not drawing truth from analytics. I'm drawing it from empiricism, from perspectivism and perceptualism, from synthetic truths. To put it another way, and in terms of your hierarchy, how can such a phrase be basic when they borrow from the levels above it? I didn't say anything about language. No language is basic. And I didn't say what the basics of language were. I'm talking about of epistemology, right, of knowledge. And I believe animals can know things, animals that don't have language. Okay, so maybe that's the problem. Maybe language and knowledge are not the same thing to me. Maybe we should just discriminate some of the definitions a little bit. I would like to request that you make your rebuttal as clear as possible and that you do not digress to other issues in order that our discussion remains focused. Well, I don't know if I satisfied that or not. Um, I'm a little bit peeved. Maybe you'll just take offense at that. Whatever. You know, I take offense at this with you. You need to be more clear. You're run I'm not run running away. I'll answer every single question that's been put to me. Oh, you don't like the answer? Well, make your own answer then. Many of these questions are in the videos I made you already were made clear. Why don't I just go, hey, go rewatch the video. You know, look, we're having a conversation about it. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Please make it clear. This is the clarity you get. Okay.